Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in the Edgewood area at 601 South San Ignacio. That's 601 South San Ignacio, a very nice three bedroom, two bath home, approximately 1,012 square feet. Was built in 2006 and it sits on a nice corner lot. The lot is about 6,089 square feet. Exterior of this home is a combination of brick and hardy plank siding. There is a little bit of wood trim on the roof and obviously on the porch pillars. Exterior wise really looks like it just needs a fresh coat of paint. We'll take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. We have access to getting in the backyard through this door off of the kitchen. The handle is broken so we can't come out it right now but normally if you wanted to get to your backyard you would come out that door. As you can see it is a corner lot. You have a nice pecan tree here. There is access for a little parking space in the back here by this fence so if you wanted to create like a back parking area maybe construct a detached garage you could exterior view of the home it's going to need as I said a fresh coat of paint and part of your HVAC is damaged it looks like someone came and kind of cut that aluminum insulated HVAC line pretty easy to do to fix repair just have an AC company come out so the backs and sides are hardy plank, which is a very durable siding. You may want to put a little gate here, and then you have obviously access to the front yard here. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, when we step into the home, we are immediately into your living room. Now, this is not a huge home. Your basic starter home, it has a single living area, bedrooms, small dining area, and a kitchen. If we turn to the right here, this kitchen area, the dining area, does have wood floors, which is really nice. You have this window up front, so you're dining will take place here right at the front of the home. You have nice windows giving you lots of natural lighting into your kitchen. This is the door that takes you out to the backyard. Pretty nice kitchen, decent amount of countertop space and cabinets. You may want to work on a few of the cabinets to get them sealed right. You have an indoor laundry room and pantry combo, so your washer and dryer connections are here inside. You don't have to go outside to do your laundry. If we come back out through the living area towards the back of the home, here's where we have two of the bedrooms. We have bedroom number one that's going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. We probably need to replace the flooring in here. Next to that we have full bathroom number one. Now it's a little dark in here but it is a shower and tub combo and a single vanity. They do have those wood floors in here which is a nice flooring. I really like that. Looks like it's currently missing the uh, thermostat so you want to get a thermostat. We have bedroom number two right next to that. Bedroom number two is going to need a fresh coat of paint and fix this little closet door there. Need a little bit of trim around the attic uh, access ladder there. It's pretty easy to do. And then we make our way up to the front of the home, which is where the master bedroom is, bedroom number three, and bathroom number, full bathroom number two. Now this bedroom is missing a door, so you want to put a door on there, but this is the master bedroom. It's going to need a fresh coat of paint. It's going to need some flooring. And we have the master bath here. Decent sized master bath that is currently just a single vanity. You could probably put a dual vanity in here if you wanted to really make it fancy. It has a shower and tub combo. It's missing a light fixture. And that's about it. All the home really appears to need is a fresh coat of paint, some flooring, a tiny bit of uh, wall repair, sheetrock repair, and get that HVAC looked at. Let me give you a summary. Well, there it is, 601 South San Ignacio Avenue. That's 601 South San Ignacio Avenue on the Edgewood side of town, which is just west of downtown. As you see, it's a nice three-bedroom, two-bath home. Relatively new. It was built in 2006. Corner lot. It does need a little bit of touching up, but in the grand scheme of things, not very much. Maybe just a little bit of painting, a little bit of flooring, and get that AC looked at. This home is listed right now for only $76,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.